Okay, uh, today I have something pretty cool for you. Uh, it's a fan we just got. Um, got it at um, kind of like a consignment store uh, not too far from here. And um, it's something my uh, wife's dad uh, saw and got for us. Yeah, this is a Christmas present. We were there with him, but he saw it originally when we went back for it. Um, it's a 1930s Emerson Seagull fan. Um, it looks like it was patented about 1933, so we think this is probably like 35, like 34, 35, 36, somewhere in there. But mid-30s. Um, it's an 8-inch fan. I'll show you. i got a tape measure right here. And they did make a, a larger 10-inch fan, which apparently was an oscillating fan. This one is not. This one is just a standard... Um, fan but it's pretty cool we really like it because of some of the deco touches i'm big into art deco um, i really like a lot of it in the design and here i'll just show you kind of the logo itself is pretty sweet and i'll show you like some of the details on the base as you can see get that little straighter for you emerson seagull and you can see it's got this really cool i mean it's just um uh, like a, a wing nut you know um with like a bolt is like a pivot so you know you you know, loosen it up and you can pivot and then you tighten it back on it you know stop in the position you like but it's uh and it's kind of like a nice like cast base here i'll show you that got a uh, it's got a few markings in there i don't know if it's really gonna be able to show up or not oops actually, i think it's this way yeah so there's those and i think or the other ones yeah Let's see it right there, FF. And it looks like 6696M. But as you can see, and like I said, it's really got some cool design features on it. See, it looks like, a, I don't know if that was a, like a, a mark or something. You could like tie it down or like nail it down or screw it down to like the bench or if that was like a, something else. But I don't really think so because it looks like it would just kind of like, could just kind of attach it. But you see like the nice swoopy lines here. Then it's also got this really sweet, like uh, kind of like a bird, like a seagull logo up top here. I think this was all chrome at one time. It's got it's like some surface rust and pitting and things, but overall it's in pretty nice shape still. And uh, it still has a chrome nose cone too. So you see here, it's got like these two supports are chrome. The seagull up top, which is chrome, and then the chrome little like bullet nose here. But yeah, so like I said, it's an eight inch little fan, like a little desk fan. Um, it does work. Here, I'll plug it in for you real quick. The blades are a little off balance, so you'll see it'll start to uh, kind of vibrate pretty quickly, but I'll plug it in. So yeah, you can see it's a little shaky, but it does work. And uh, it's got the original cord, I think. Uh, the cord's in good shape. There's no nicks or anything on it. Here, I'll show you the... Let's make sure it doesn't run in there. See if I can get that to focus. You can see uh, it's like an old cord there. You know, still fabric coat and everything. But still, I mean, it's in pretty good shape. But I would, you know, if we were going to use this, I'd probably want to redo the motor, uh, get a different cord on there. One that looked, you know, fabric wrapped, same kind of head. Maybe even use some of these parts if we could, just to keep that original look. But I really wouldn't use it much as it is without redoing, again, probably like the motor. It's probably going to need to be lubed up. But it sounds, I mean, pretty good. Like, there's not... Not a lot of squeak or anything, but I mean, it definitely needs, like I said, the blades here. Let me show you in here. If you go sideways, you can kind of see like two of the blades stick out further than the other ones. You can see it's really kind of off kind of kilter. But still, I mean, again, you think about this one. So this fan is like 90 years old, 85 years old, something like that. Still works. You could, you know, do a little adjustment, still push out some air, and it's still in pretty good shape. Yeah, so an Emerson Siegel 8-inch fan. Um, like I said, it's probably like mid-30s. And uh, yeah, we got we picked it up for like 30 bucks, which is kind of appropriate, you know. Uh, a fan from the 30s for 30 bucks. So I thought it was pretty cool. And again, it's not something you see every day. I, and actually, I'm not real familiar with, I mean, vintage fans. I kept my eye on them, but this one I really hadn't seen before. So I thought it was really cool. And like I said, just with the looks and everything, it'll be even even if we just clean it up and never use it and just have it as like a like just keep it on a shelf on the desk. It is it's pretty cool looking. Like I said, I think a little polish, all that, just kind of get that chrome shined up, like clean off the paint. It'll look pretty sweet. So 
anyway, uh, that's it. Just a quick one for today. Uh, it's an uh, 1930s Emerson Seagull desk fan. So that's it. Thanks. Bye.